With all the packs cleared out, it's time we finally get to some dueling. And by dueling, I mean against the AI. At least the first ones are not going to be that bad. Because I'm battling against the normal computer. I should mention, by the way, that in normal, uh, when you play computer, to computer, there are four different difficulties. And boy, Master Difficulty is truly a master, as you'll soon see. Meanwhile, it's still me and Giles X, so let's continue the conversation. Hi, I'm running on half a brain cell right now. <laughs> Are you sure it's only half? Mm, yeah, more like a third. Uh, I had to make sure. Yeah. Um, so... Yeah, previous video we started talking about... Well, we talked a lot about Mario Wonder, but... Started kind of talking about other PopCap games. Um... I still remember when... You were talking about how you were getting your new computer, and... You weren't sure if... The, um... Uh, the Bejeweled podcast would have been able to... Continue, because you weren't able to, like load the original version, but I was, I told you, like, hey, the, all the PopCap games are on Steam. Yeah, and I was like, wait, what? Mm-hmm. Because what? by that point, yeah, I had, uh, I had repurchased, uh, Chuzzle, so I'm able to still play that from back when I was a kid. We live those childhood memories, which honestly, PopCap is kind of, like, would you say PopCat is like one of the definitions of childhood gaming? Oh yeah, like, if if you had access to a PopCat game back in the day, I don't think there was ever a single person that, that I knew that owned a PopCat game that wasn't obsessed with it for at least a while. Um, so, like, not, not everyone like played them but those that i knew that played them like they they just obsessed over them um i still remember one of my friends owned plants vs zombies on nintendo ds and yeah that that was basically the only game that he played for at least a solid month wow yeah um, that, that was back around the time that I, I got my 3DS, and I realized, oh, the, um, certain PopCap games, like Plants vs. Zombies, was actually offered as, uh, DSiWare, like a more stripped-down version. I forget exactly what they took out of the DSiWare version that wasn't in the DS version. So that's kind of what DSiWare sort of ended up being, is uh, truncated or um, just a portion of a previously released DS game. Like in, this, in the um, case of Brain Age or Clubhouse, um, those were just content from previous retail releases that they uh, segmented into separate digital downloads for the DSiWare. Um, I never got around to getting the DSiWare version of Plants vs. Zombies, but that was always something that I was like, oh yeah, this is on my wish list. Anyways... <laughs> Um, now that I'm thinking about it, um, I just want to see what, uh, what price Plants vs. Zombies is on, on Steam. Probably very cheap. Plants vs. Zombies, five, just five bucks? Yeah, five Perfect. bucks. It's... I needed the perfect ricochet to get that. Mm. Wait. Wait, do I own this? Ha! Ah! I do! <laughs> okay. Well. 
That's still when you realize yeah, the only game that you didn't know you did. Yeah. Uh, two terabyte crucial. Yup. I'm I'm just gonna put it downloading, <laughs> and it's downloaded. Um. That was quick. Yeah. It's only like not even forty megabytes. Wow. So. Yes, that. Yeah, I kind of forgot that I have it. Um, I also kind of forget that I have essentially every Valve made game, because I think they were all available as part of a bundle at one point. Hmm. Um, all of them for like less than 20 bucks or something like that. And so I just got all I got all of them and now I have Left 4 Dead and Half-Life like all of Half-Life and Half-Life 2 and um yeah I, I have not played any of them <laughs> um also I forget that the Steam Deck OLED is a thing now I'm loading up the main homepage and and it's an, a new hardware refresh of of the Steam Deck. It's it's really just only minimal improvements, uh, nothing major outside of the the bigger OLED screen. <laughs> it's kind of like the um, the Switch OLED. Like you don't need to get it if you already have one, but. If you don't have one yet, it's probably what you should get. <laughs> huh. that my oh, that's definitely not. I had to do a blind shot, honestly, down to the gutter because had I had I not, the computer would have gotten the last orange peg, and I was behind on points. So pretty fortunate that actually worked out. Hmm. Yeah, what I'm most surprised about with the Steam Deck OLED is that it has a better battery, and I don't know why I'm surprised about that. Huh? Um, from what I've heard, it's just a culmination of all the little changes that they made, like the different battery chemistry and slightly different processor, even though it performs the same, I guess it consumes less power. Um, and I guess the screen, even though it's an OLED screen, is, uh, if I've heard correctly, is m slightly more power efficient, which Ooh. I don't get the science behind that, but, I mean, if it's more power efficient, then great. That's, that's honestly the, the thing that drains portable devices Oh, the most is the screen. Um. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so. I was kind of thinking about getting a Steam Deck for, like, buying one for Christmas. Um. I don't know if I will. But if I do, it'll be the OLED. Because after... After getting the Switch OLED, watch that, dude. Oh. Mm. Yeah, after getting the Switch OLED, it's like, yeah, I don't want a device without an OLED. <laughs> it it's a nice screen. Um. So that and the the screen on the original Steam Deck, from what I've heard, is like can be kind of not that great, um, which is unfortunate because it's the thing that you're looking at the most when using the thing. Um, but yeah, but yeah, it's, if I do decide to drop the money for it, um, yeah, going, Oh yeah, that's the thing, is that it's not available in the base uh, $400 version because they've reconfigured the, um, 
the pricing structure for these a little bit. So, originally, the cheapest model for 400 bucks only had 64 gigs of storage. Now, it's 400 for the 256 LCD hmm. Steam Deck. And then the next jump up to 512 gigabytes uh, for, yeah, 512 gigabyte OLED for 350. Or, sorry, 550 numbers. Um, and then a terabyte OLED is 650 if you want to go all the way all the way up. Yeah. But from from what I've seen, it's actually not terribly difficult to swap out the the SSD for a larger one. So if you wanted the one terabyte, I mean, I guess it's not terribly difficult to you know get a one terabyte SSD yourself and do the replacement. But now. It's only a hundred dollars between the five twelve gig and terabyte. So oh, okay, really? Mm. Uh, what happened right there? That's that's dumb. Uh. So Yeah, it's oh and also the screen on the Steam Deck OLED is 90 hertz instead of 60. So if you're someone that really cares about frame rates, um, don't even consider the LCD. Just get the OLED. Hmm. Which um is nice considering that the battery lasts longer. Like if you run a game at 90 frames per second now, it should have similar or comparable battery life to playing a game on the the old Steam Deck now um, at 60 frames. But I'm I'm just spitballing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That being said, I I don't know how much of my um. Well, I, I know a lot of my Steam library would be compatible with the Steam Deck. But for things like the PopCap games, I don't I don't know exactly if uh how compatible they would be with the Steam Deck. Mm. Okay, he finally decided to pull the trigger. I don't think you saw that, but literally both of us have been on the fence as to whether we're gonna hit the fish or not, because that will unlock the left side. Oh. That was kind of why you guys saw no gameplay just then, because like we both were on Logga. Heads! Wow, that was an ending. I told you, once someone. Oh, 666. Once someone hits that <laughs> fish, it was all game over. Uh. Like. <laughs> Like, literally both of us were at the stalemate, and then I fi he finally pulled the trigger, and lost the game. Mm. <laughs> AI, man. AI is stupid. Unfortunately, that ends off our conversations today, because I plan to record that much, but... That is a lot of pages I cleared out today. I I guess before before we end, I looked it up, and... For Plants vs. Zombies, at least, Steam Deck compatibility currently is playable. So... Hmm. Well, that's good. Well, mm -hmm. that said, uh, if I do my math correctly, I'll see you guys at episode... Wait, I need to make sure I got this correct, because nine pages, but it's going to be eight episodes, because I did two pages of one. So I'll see you guys at episode 21, when we're going to take on the hard AI. And uh, if you thought the normal AI was, like, okay, oh boy, hard AI is where it starts to get frustrating, to say the least. See you guys then. Peace. <laughs>